Yo, what's up, bros and broettes? Today, I have like, some exciting news. Let me just get the hood popped real quick and uh, let you know uh, what my exciting news is. So, I'm gonna pop this real quick. So, my dumb self. Couldn't, I couldn't figure out why my reverse lights weren't working. And it all be, was all because my ignition switch wasn't turned on. And I was trying to get the lights to work with the ignition off. So with that being said, I had the right wires to begin with. Um, what I ended up doing is just, these are the wires that came from, that came from uh, the, the stock plug off the manual transmission at Pull Apart. Now you have a green and white wire and then you have a green with a blue stripe wire. So green with white stripe and green with blue stripe. Uh, those wires literally match up to two wires off this center plug piece. One is green with a blue stripe and the other is a green with a white stripe. Match those, you literally match those up if you don't have the other plug that goes to right here then just cut them off the back side of this and then match them up um, and connect them and then you got reverse lights unless your fuse is blown or your bulbs are blown then your reverse lights should definitely ooh, excuse me should definitely work uh, so that is some great news so now I have all working lights in the car oh excuse me all working lights in the car the ignition switch is all keyed and everything all I got a key for all the doors and the ignition switch my key awesome so awesome 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 I'm so happy that I got a lot of this situated because I was afraid I was gonna have to wire it all up myself and I really didn't want to do that but I got it all fixed all the way I want it I need to get some electrical tape so I can tape up the wires and probably some zip ties so I can zip tie them out of the way um, <clears throat> What else? Uh, I do have the valve cover off right now. As you can see, the valve cover is off. Um, I grabbed this. Uh, these are the oil, the spark plug, you know, this, these are the spark plug gasket for the valve cover. It, now, mine was leaking really bad on uh, cylinder four, and it was because of this right here. As you can see, it's broken. So as you can see, I actually grabbed this off of a, uh, uh, a Nissan Altima with the 24KA front wheel drive. As you can see, they're a little bit different because this has the little part for the uh, screws, where the screws go down in the middle. It pushes pressure. And these, so what I'll probably end up doing is cutting here and here and cutting these little pieces off and putting them back on there. And then, uh, that way it's all sealed up. This obviously is just temporary. Uh, it's definitely not permanent, but this is just a temporary fix until I find out whether or not the head is the head gasket is actually blown. Because if it's blown, then I need to, uh, you know, take the head off. So which which means I have to take the valve cover back off. Um, I have it up front right now in front of the house, um, painting it red because uh, it's actually the only paint that I have that's uh, high temperatures for brake calipers which is actually rated higher for like than the engine stuff so with that said um, actually no it's not rated higher I don't know well anyways that is uh, up there I have the second coat on it right now I'll we'll walk up there and I'll show you real quick and then uh, I'll put the if it's dry then I'll go ahead and put the, the third and final coat on it and then I'll sand off, you know, that Nissan and uh, the lettering. I'll sand off the lettering so it's nice and metallic looking. So, with that said, yeah, uh, making some progress. It's slow progress, but still making progress. Uh, uh, I'm so, like, like I said, I'm so excited that I got that fixed. So, and then I figured out, figured out the reverse lights, figured out the tail lights. Uh, now I just need to get a new starter and try and turn this thing on because the gas tank is done. The uh, well, I actually need to replace one fuel line because it actually has a, it's leaking. So um, it's 
it's actually the feed line coming from the tank to the hard line so that soft rubber line is leaking so I need to replace that so I'll probably end up going to like advance or something and buy like two feet of fuel line or two or three feet probably three feet just to be safe and then uh, you know put that in and call it a day so uh, but yeah first thing first is I definitely do need to get a new starter um, I'm probably gonna end up ordering off of Rock Auto because it's way cheaper they have the cheapest price on their ring manufacturer starter their cheapest one is like $48 obviously you gotta pay a core charge it's like 20 something and then it comes out to being like $76 and then you gotta pay for shipping which is like $9 and then obviously when you return your core you get that twenty something dollars back so which is still way cheaper than buying it from it like Advance or, or AutoZone because buying it from them I think that cheapest remain that I saw was like a hundred and something dollars and I was like oh hell no <laughs> hell no I ain't paying sixty more dollars just to have the convenience of being able to take it here I'll, I'll wait a few days so with that being said uh, I'm going to walk up front and take a look at that valve cover and uh, yeah, this is just a quick update video, guys, for you guys, and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying my videos and are, and are staying tuned, staying tuned in to, uh, you know, this build. Uh, I know it's starting off slow, but, you know, that's because money is short right now, and money coming in is slow right now, so, well, at least for me. Uh, so, with that said, let's go up front. Actually, yeah, let's go up front. Alright guys, so we're at the front of the house now, and here's the valve cover. Oh, there we go. So, as you can see, I'm painting it red. It still needs, you know, a good few more coats. Probably like, I'll probably put one or two more on there just to be safe. Just to make sure I have good coverage over it and whatnot. So, again, I'm just doing red because that's the only high temperature paint that I have. Um, you know, like I have black paint, I have chrome paint, uh, I have paint for rims, but that's like a that's like a gun metal. It's more like that. But with that said, uh, yeah, yep. With that said, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for this guys for this episode, guys. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because man, does that go a long ways. Um, as you can see, I'm still smiling. I'm so so happy and enthused about this build, um, and I'm happy to take you guys along the journey that I'm going with this car. And uh, again, I hope you guys stay tuned in because there are great things to come with this build and my channel itself. So, with that being said, guys, peace out and never look back.